I think it started when I was in high school, going into college. As a young girl, you know, you go through many changes in life. Amanda Hard found her place in the world through art. And I started creating these paintings because, um, you know, one day I'm a cupcake girl and the next I'm, you know, dealing with the world and it feels like I'm a toxic girl and I have to wear a mask to get through the day. Over the years, Amanda has painted a variety of what she calls her girls. Different styles, different colors, different occupations. Well, I always envisioned having my paintings hanging and women would come in and, and look at like, wow, that's my alter ego or she's what I want to be when I grow up. Recently at a show in Los Angeles, Amanda's dream came true. Her paintings hanging in an exhibition. Just eight months ago, Amanda started printing her paintings onto other canvases and sharing them with the world through her company, Penny Prints. <laughs> Penny! This is Penny the Boss Pug. She calls the shots. <laughs> Amanda paints in her studio at home in Whitefield while Penny observes. When she's done, she snaps a photo on her iPad, then spends up to two months coloring in her paintings so they can more easily transfer to things like backpacks, coffee mugs, and notepads. And I said, wow, you know, I can not only make art prints, but I can put it on different accessories and apparel, and I could really share my art with women in different fashions and different styles through, their, through all the different accessories. The goal was always to empower other girls, but Amanda had no idea how far that would go. I get pictures sent in. I get, this one reminds me of my mom. I got this one for my sister. My friend's a teacher. I get so many pictures, and um, it, it's overwhelming. It's amazing. It, 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 for me to be able to touch people or touch other women and, you know, pass that love along, it's amazing to me especially when she gets feedback on her girl, Beautiful Survivor. I started my Beautiful Survivor painting in honor of Lee and the many women out there who are facing this difficult journey. It'll be three years on St. Patty's Day. I was 35 and I was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer. Lee Greenwood was young and facing a scary diagnosis. And I remember waking up every morning with horrible, like, impending doom on my life, like, wondering how much longer I was going to be around. Um, if I'd be around to see, like, my kids graduate high school, um, get married, stuff like that. It's tough. It's very tough. But Lee wasn't alone. As Amanda watched her friend face the battle of her life, she painted. So beautiful survivor. Yes. When Amanda showed you this. Yeah. Was that overwhelming? Oh my God, it was so overwhelming. She is such an amazing person, and I felt honored that she was amazed and inspired by me. When you look at this woman, what do you see? I see me, and I see beauty, and I see strength. Which is what many others have seen too, buying the accessories and prints for their sister, mother, or themselves. Well, I work with um, a few different breast cancer foundations. So the proceeds from the Beautiful Survivor Collection are donated to women in need of, um, you know, help with their medical bills, help with their cell phone bill, groceries. In the crucial first months of her business, Amanda doesn't keep the income from one of her best sellers. Call it a testament to the passion behind her paintings, inspired by those around her, empowering others throughout the country. Yeah. And I hope that it helps you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're so